All right, in this particular video, we are going to attempt to go ahead and uh, just connect up the Arduino and the CNC shield with the jumpers and the motors. Um, this should be just a fairly quick one, let's hope. All right, <coughs> their instructions want you to mount the, uh, the Arduino to the side. I guess I haven't put my kit together because I'm missing those parts. So I went ahead and 3D printed. I do have a printer. So I 3D printed a little case for it. Threw a couple of screws in there to hold it down. You got your holes over here. The only problem is the power is actually over here in this corner, so I don't actually have an opening for it. I just kind of have to squeeze the wires in through there. And of course you got the openings for the other uh, motor wires and stuff. So there's the Uno. Instead of mounting it to the side of the case, it's st stuck inside this case, which will protect it a little better. And the lid has a cutout. It's a smaller fan than what they give you, <coughs> but I really can't see it needing uh, a big fan like that. A smaller fan with a higher RPM should be able to cool it down just as well. Um, so that brings us to the shield. All right, now I'm blind and the picture is blurry so holding it like this with the with the red connector towards you so for me it'd be like this you want the M0 and the M1 which is the first two oh, not on the red one the first two on each one of these so I had troubles finding them because they are really in a small bag. I mean, I knew jumpers are small, but I thought they came. I thought they would come in the bag with the uh, with the Uno or with the with the shield, but they don't. They come in the big bag of nuts and bolts. Um, and I swear I looked through there twice and couldn't find them. And uh, Millwright got back to me and said, "Oh, they're in the bag with that stuff with the hardware." And well, I finally found them. So. We're going to dump these puppies out, and I'll show you what this looks like after we're done here. So that's M0, M1, so it's on the first two, and you do that for the top, in, top two in yellow. And according to the instructions, that's going to set the, it's going to set it to allow you to jog it down to like an eighth step or something like that when you adjust it. Now what I'm not going to do is show you how to adjust it today. I'll do that on a separate video once I actually figure out what I'm doing with it. It should, should be simple. I've watched enough videos and whatnot. So anyway, this is what it, I believe it should be looking like. So you see the jumper on the first two, the M0 and the M1s. <clears throat> then the next step, for me anyway, is you open up the little motors, or the, the controller chips here. Let me stop. I think you do. Oh, apparently that little rip off thing didn't quite rip it off. Now, according to the instructions, the chip faces the chip faces down towards your body and then plugs in like this. I'll show you in a second as soon as I stick this thing in there trying to get, line it up with these little holes without bending or breaking something. Something doesn't seem right there. It's crooked. It doesn't want to go in that one. Oh, I'm going to have to figure that out. There we go. That's one. It chips down towards me. All right. Apparently, the little rippy off thing to open the bag just doesn't open the bag. And you're going to see these. These are little heat sinks. These go on the little chip. Oops. On the little chip. Right, let's 
Let's try this one again. There we go. Now obviously you can tell <coughs> I have no power connected to this thing. I mean the board's free in my hand. I don't even have the power connector on it. Never play with your electronics while they're plugged in. Even when you're working on your computer, flip the either pull the cord or flip the little switch on the power supply itself to remove power from the board. Even press the power button to make sure you power drain any capacitors left. All right, let's see. It's, this one seems to be spread just a little too far. There we go. All right, so according to the directions, this is exactly how it should look. So the red part is facing your body and the chips are facing your body and the little adjusters, the little pots are facing away from you. Or potentiometers for those of you that don't actually know what a pot is or think I'm talking about something else. So then the board only does only fit one way. You just line up the holes, which of course in the case it's a little hard to see for me to line them up at first make sure I'm getting everything in there but you'll feel it just kind of press right down and there you have it and then like I said I have a little lid for mine with fan mounting holes and stuff on it so there'll be a fan sitting on top here and there's plenty of openings to push the air through and if not you can always just a couple more it's not a huge deal um, I prefer ABS this is PLA just because I didn't have any ABS left but anyway there you have it uh, next video well maybe not the next one but one of them we will go through the adjusting process of it